President Sarney, distinguished guests, it's a pleasure to have you here tonight. Our meetings today were businesslike and productive. The spirit of amicability and goodwill that was so evident throughout our sessions bodes well for the future. One of the benefits of such meetings as we had today is that they provide the opportunity for leaders to get to know each other. And in this case, it was a delight. President Sarney is the leader of a great nation, sophisticated in the ways of politics and economics, yet a person with the heart of a poet, truly a Renaissance man. Having been in the profession I was in for a good part of my life, it's an honor to have here this evening an individual whose interests lie not just with politics, but also the arts. We believe in freedom not only because it reflects the most moral system of human interaction, not only because it leads to economic progress, but also because it nourishes the artistic and creative spirit of man. President Sarney has said, literature and politics are inspired in the conscience of liberty. When one thinks of Brazil, it's difficult not to hear the sound of music or the sight of joyous dance. Of course, Brazil is much more than that, and the sounds of construction and building are clearly evident today. And after speaking with President Sarney, one cannot doubt that the richness of Brazil's soul is alive and well. President Sarney has faced great challenges since his first day as president. Following the tragic death of Dr. Tancredo Neves, a powerful event in the life of your nation, your countrymen, and yes, the rest of the world, look to you. Even in the best of circumstances, this would have been an awesome responsibility during this time of great transition. It required a truly remarkable leader, a man of vision and principle. President Sarney, I'm certain that you agree that on occasion, the magnitude of problems faced by a head of state seem a bit overwhelming. If you will permit an informal American expression on such a formal occasion, I usually put it this way. When you're up to your neck in alligators, it's hard to remember your original purpose was to drain the swamp. <laughs> Yet a true leader is one who does not lose sight of goals and ideals. He keeps the spirit of his people high and the course set in the right direction. And tonight we honor just such a leader. With exceptional diligence and strength of purpose, you are bringing your country, your beloved Brazil, into a new era of prosperity and freedom. Rui Barbosa, a prominent Brazilian statesman and intellectual at the turn of the century, once said, some sow their cabbage patch merely for tomorrow's meal Others plant an oak tree as a shelter for the future. Will the first dig for themselves, the others plow for their country, for the happiness of their descendants, for the well-being of mankind? President Sarney, let us pledge that the American and Brazilian people will plant oaks for a better tomorrow and that they will do it together. And now, Would you all join me in a toast to President Sarney and the people of Brazil? Senhor Presidente Reagan, Senhora Nancy Reagan, esta é 
a última oportunidade nesta viagem que nós temos de estar juntos. E, portanto, é o momento de agradecer trazer a nossa gratidão pelo carinho, pela hospitalidade, pelo calor, pelo clima de amizade que cercou a nossa chegada aos Estados Unidos. Mr. President, Mrs. Nancy Reagan, as this will be our last opportunity on this trip, to be together, I think it is a time for gratitude, a time to convey our thanks for the warmth, the hospitality, the kindness, and the spirit of friendship that has pervaded this stay. Há pouco, uma a senhora que estava ao meu lado me dizia que há um provérbio americano que diz que quando nós olhamos a primeira estrela no céu, Devemos fazer um pedido. Was... Nesta noite, nós estamos olhando apenas uma estrela no céu. E devemos fazer, então, o nosso pedido. É o pedido pela permanente amizade do Brasil e dos Estados Unidos. During dinner, the lady I was sitting next to told me of the American habit of making a wish when you see the first star. There is only one star that I can see up there in the sky tonight. So I think that we should all perhaps share the same wish, the wish for a permanent friendship between our two countries. Nós sabíamos da gentileza do senhor presidente dos Estados Unidos. Mas não esperávamos que ele nos trouxesse, além de todas as estimas, esta noite em que ele fez com que contribuísse para a nossa alegria até um céu sem nuvens. We've had many proofs of the kindness of the President of the United States, but we did not expect his uh, esteem and kindness to extend as far as providing us with this unforgettable evening and a sky with one star and no clouds. Quando eu aqui chegava, a senhora Nancy Reagan nos mostrava a lua. E eu dizia, eu conheço essa moça há dois dias ela estava no mesmo lugar em Brasília e era um símbolo para os nossos dois países. Para repetir o que eu disse essa manhã, duas almas, um só sentimento. When arriving here this evening, Mrs. Reagan pointed to the moon and uh, I thought to myself, I've seen that girl somewhere before was two evenings ago in Brasilia. And again, that is a symbol that we share. And I repeat what I said this morning. Two souls, one feeling. O senhor presidente falou em jacaré. No Brasil, nós temos um provérbio para nos defender em tempos de dificuldades. Que diz que quando nós nadamos em, em rio de piranhas, que é um peixe muito voraz, o jacaré nada de costa. You spoke of alligators, Mr. President. In Brazil we have piranhas, and we also have a saying, in times of uh, strain and difficulties, when swimming in rivers full of piranhas, the only way is to play alligator and turn on your back. <laughs> Senhor Presidente, 
realmente nós estamos profundamente sensibilizados com o carinho com que fomos recebidos. E este jantar, nesta noite, coroa certamente este sentimento de amizade, de colaboração que nós devemos manter sempre entre o Brasil e os Estados Unidos. Eu estou deeply moved, Mr. President, by your kind remarks that reflect the spirit of friendship and cordiality of this memorable visit to Washington. And I think this reception this evening is the crowning achievement of this visit and this feeling of friendship and cooperation. Eu vi as palavras de Vossa Excelência com uma sincera emoção. E elas representam a amizade e a simpatia desta visita inesquecível que nós fazemos a Washington. I will never forget your words. I will never forget this evening the friendship of this memorable visit to the United States and Washington. Eu estou trazendo a palavra de um Brasil que se transforma, de um Brasil que tem um nobre projeto histórico, o de ser uma democracia plena, em que a liberdade política tenha na vida econômica e social a sua correspondência. I have brought word of a country, Brazil, a country in transition, setting out to answer its most noble historic calling, to be a full democracy in which political freedom is reflected in the economic and social life of the nation. Os Estados Unidos são a terra onde a liberdade e a participação frutificam no mais extraordinário progresso material e social da história da humanidade. O seu exemplo é para nós uma sedução permanente. The United States is the land where freedom and the participation of the people have brought forth the most extraordinary material and social progress in history, an example to be always pursued. Encontrei em Vossa Excelência um interlocutor permanente, interessado e aberto a tudo que possa aperfeiçoar a longa e sempre renovada amizade entre o Brasil e os Estados Unidos. During our meeting with you, Mr. President, I found a partner willing to listen in an open and interested manner. And I'm quite certain that this will lead to further improvement in the long-standing and permanent friendship between our countries. Essa capacidade de imprimir sua marca pessoal e decisiva no estilo e na substância da presidência e da história dos Estados Unidos é, sem dúvida, a expressão inconfundível de suas qualidades de estadista que o povo norte-americano tem aplaudido de uma forma tão consagradora. Your talent for imprinting your personal and decisive stamp on the form and substance of the presidency and on the very history of the United States is surely an unmistakable demonstration of your statementship, which the people of the United States have overwhelmingly acclaimed. Eu diria isso 
com maior eloquência se nós não tivéssemos o tempo da, tradi da tradução. And I would say it in a far more eloquent fashion if I didn't have to lose so much time with the translation. Esta é uma hora de grande confraternização, marcada pelas atenções e pela hospitalidade com que os norte-americanos nos têm tratado. This is a moment of friendly celebration, marked by the warm hospitality extended us by our gracious American hosts. Eu desejo registrar também a homenagem que Marli e eu prestamos em nome dos brasileiros à senhora Nancy Reagan, cujo trabalho incansável em favor dos mais no, das mais nobres causas humanas desperta a admiração e a solidariedade do Brasil. May I also, on behalf of Marli and on my own behalf, pay tribute in the name of the Brazilian people to Mrs. Nancy Reagan for her tireless work and efforts on behalf of the young. Depois que cheguei aos Estados Unidos, Nestas horas, eu pude avaliar a contribuição da senhora Nancy Reagan a este país. Sobretudo no exemplo que ela está dando do amor solidário, daquele amor da esposa pelo esposo que é um exemplo extraordinário à nação americana e a todos nós. Mrs. Reagan has uh, met with the admiration and the solidarity of the entire Brazilian people. And since I have come to the United States, I have become more aware, perhaps, of another contribution given by Mrs. Reagan to all mankind. The example she has set of love as sharing, of love as an expression of solidarity, the love of a wife for her husband, is an example to all mankind. Para terminar, senhor presidente, que os discursos de jantar ou almoço são sempre longos, por mais curtos que eles sejam. Eu quero, nesse Jardim das Rosas, também levantar a minha taça com um grande sentimento de coração, pela grandeza e pela prosperidade dos Estados Unidos, pela felicidade pessoal de Vossa Excelência e de sua esposa, e pelo êxito do seu governo em benefício deste grande país. Muito obrigado. In closing. Mr. President, because after dinner speeches are always too long, no matter how short, may I, in this rose garden, propose a toast and ask you to join me in toasting the long-standing friendship between the people of Brazil and the United States, the greatness and prosperity of the United States of America, and to your own personal success and happiness and that of Mrs. Reagan. God save. America. <laughs>